Hey, Tom, Thank how are you, you doing? Thank you, Maya. Hi, Jesse. Excellent. I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing just fine. Good. Just fine, man. Um, right off the bat. Where are you? What's that? Where are you? I am in Houston, Texas. Oh, I just passed through Houston Airport a couple of days ago. Yeah, on my way to Birmingham, Alabama, of all places. <laughs> well, I hope hope we treated you, go. you good. So, you did, you did. Yeah, it was pleasant. I wasn't there very long. I was kind of going from one to another. Gotcha. So, what's up? So, I uh, I love Trick. Your performance was was amazing, but the film itself, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, how did you get involved with, oh, that, with that project? Well, it's a, the third film I've done with Patrick Lussier. I He uh, invited me to be in um, My Bloody Valentine 3D, and um, <laughs> it was I had never met him and. Until then, we talked in a coffee shop here where I live in Pittsburgh area, and he was coming here to shoot it, and he said, I would love you to play this, uh, not a big role, but it's a nice role of the sheriff, but when I tell you how you die, you might not want to do it. And I, he told me, and, you know, my whole lower face goes flying out over the uh, audience's right shoulder in 3D, and I said, I would love to do that. <laughs> that sounds like great fun. And we, we did it, and, and it was a lot of fun. And then he wrote a part for me in uh, Drive Angry. We shot down in Shreveport, Louisiana, with Nicolas Cage and a bunch of people. And we had a good time. And then uh, I he invited me to come up and do a uh, trick in uh, play Talbot, the old town curmudgeon. And we shot that in Newburgh, New York, and had a wonderful time. You know what? What I loved and was, I just loved the film. I just saw it at the uh, premiere screening at Screen Fest out in L.A. on October 9th. And he, he, we only shot that in March and April, and it's already got a release date of October 18, and they had this, the premiere uh, October 9. And I, he really worked incredibly hard to put it together, but uh, th that's part of what I love about him is that he is so good, such a wonderful director in his uh, years of being an editor with Wes Craven really served him well in that he, he shoots a movie the way he wants to see it as an audience member on the screen. And it's, um, so it makes it easier for his editor to, put it all together and I'm sure he and the editor you know they work together he doesn't just leave it up to the other guy I just uh, I loved it I, I thought it turned out really terrific and it it reminded me of the movies I made in the 80s where you get to know the people and they uh, you hope that they come out the other end alive you and uh, I think Trick did all of that yeah Patrick did a great job he and Todd Farmer um, write good stuff together, make good stories. I agree. I uh, I spoke with Patrick last yeah. week, and when he, when I brought up Talbot, he said that uh, he he wrote that role with you in mind. Um, I was I'm sure. And he, he, I'm sure. He said, "Had you not done it, he probably <laughs> wouldn't have made the film," which I thought was interesting. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, uh, see, that's. When I'm with him, I feel like I'm with my brother. Honest to God, I feel like I'm with my family, and we are close. I, I've never understood how families can be all busted up and nobody talks to each other for years. And but I feel that way about Patrick. I I, I would go anywhere, anytime to do anything with him. I know he's got. I, I know I'm going to be in good hands, and I think he knows the audience will feel that they are in good hands when they see me up there. Yeah, I I uh, I want to yeah. I want to jump from from trick to another 
franchise real quick. I, I saw that there's a petition of sorts coming from Darcy the Mail Girl uh, to get Halloween 3 uh, as part of the Halloween Hoot Nanny. Um, what's, what's the story here? How did this, how did this all start? What? What Halloween 3? What are you talking about? So uh, Joe, Joe, I, I don't... Joe Bob Briggs is doing this Halloween Hoot Nanny. And the girl. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I know. Uh, Joe Bob, uh, this is going to drag on forever. I could just feel it from him. He's going he's gonna to milk this to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told Joe Bob, I'll, uh, yeah, you, uh, I'm going to bring a few friends along and do him harm. He's, uh, he's having a, uh, uh, a marathon, one through five, but three isn't in there. Yes. And uh, I, uh, so I did a, a little a telephone thing with uh, with Darcy, and um, we'll see how it works out. I don't know if he's going to put it in the marathon or not. Probably not. <laughs> he's a he's a he's a cantankerous old Texan. Yeah. So. Well, that's that's why yeah, I brought it up. He we'll doesn't live that far from me, so I was. <laughs> oh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, I also I, I I like to kind of wrap up with you have many memorable roles, and I I often like to ask actors, you know, and directors, is there anything that we as viewers might have missed? Is there a performance of yours that you think gets overlooked, and that pe more people should be aware of? Wow, uh, I don't know. I really, I, I love working with Patrick and his. I loved um, my, um, Night of the Creeps. Uh, is my personal favorite. Fred Decker. Um, but overlooked. I just, I just did one. I don't think people have had a chance to see it or not. Called um, Encounter. Yeah. Sci-fi film that we shot in. Uh, down in um, Augusta, Georgia, and Luke Hemsworth is in it, and Anna Hutchinson from Cabin in the Woods, and it's a really lovely, different sci-fi film, and I I hope that people will find it because it didn't get a theatrical release, but it does have. Uh, it just came out October one on Blu-ray, DVD, and it's, I think it's 4K or 4G or whatever the hell that <laughs> process is. I don't mind. I don't know. I'm a techno-challenged guy, just like Joe Bob Briggs. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, and I hope people see it because I get to play a biology professor, which is somebody very... Very different from what I usually get invited to play, and not that I'm, I I don't have anything against uh, uh, my bloody Valentine, Drive Angry Trick, or a Night of the Creeps, or all those. I loved all those old characters, and and uh, but I really like this Professor Westlake in uh, in Contra. I hope people will get a chance to see it. Um. So uh, right. lastly, ha Halloween is coming up, and I asked, I did ask Pat Patrick this, so I wanted to get your opinion as well. Um, there is a, a we're sp we're we're going to go more off on the petition train. There is this idea of changing Halloween from the thirty first to the to the last Saturday of the month. I, I, you know, I have you on the line. You know, what does what does Tom Atkins think about that? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, because for safety and the kids and. Yeah, but and but how how, like is, that. how is Saturday yeah. more safe, you know, than a Thursday? Like I don't. <laughs> I mean, there's. Yeah, nothing, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. It's me. So yeah, you're yeah, you're yeah, totally yeah, against it. Why mess with it? You know, I, October thirty one has worked for uh, I don't know how many years, hundreds. Of, <laughs> I, uh, well, why, why mess around with it? I don't know. Leave it alone. Gotcha.
That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Tom, here at Senate Ump. We let the doers know how they're doing, and you're doing just fine. So thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Talk to you again somewhere. Yes, sir.